Welcome to Pro Stitcher Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg. Have you ever had to stop quilting partway through a quilt and come back and said to yourself, how do I get my position correct with my design? Well, I'm gonna show you that today through some simple repositioning. I've just opened my workspace. The first thing I'm gonna do is close my area because I don't need my area anymore. So from the tabs, let's select the area tab and from the ribbon we'll press clear. That will just close my area. Now I'm ready to reposition my design. I'm gonna do this using the start point from the previous row that I quilted. So as you can see here, I've marked it with a pin and right where the pin went in is where my start point is for this row. So I'll move my machine over and position it so my needle is right over where that first stitch was taken. Now there's a few different ways I can do this, but I'm gonna show you my favorite way to do it. Let's go to the Modify tab and select Reposition from the ribbon. Over in the sidebar, because my crosshairs are exactly where I want that original start point to be, let's just touch the start point button and snap. My design just moved exactly in position. Now I'm ready to start quilting the second row, so we need to advance our start point from the first row to the second row. So let's go to the Pro Stitcher tab, and from the ribbon, we'll select New Start and End. In the sidebar, there's two columns. There's a start column and an end column. We wanna move our start point, so we'll go to the bottom of the start column, under the word jumps, and we wanna jump down one. So we'll just click this once, and my start point is now right here. I'm ready to start stitching. I'll move my machine down within the ballpark of where that green target is, and touch the run button. Verify my settings, everything looks great, and my needle is up. I'll touch proceed, pull up my bobbin thread, and finish quilting this quilt.